What if the key to true happiness and fulfillment lies not in the pursuit of more, but in the discovery of what is already within us? Today, we delve into the depths of A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose, a transformative book penned by spiritual teacher Eckhart Tolle. This enlightening piece of literature invites us on a journey to uncover our deepest, most authentic selves through spiritual enlightenment. The crux of Tola's work orbits around the concept of awakening. He urges us to shake off the shackles of ego and societal expectations to truly awaken to our life's purpose. According to Toll, this awakening isn't just a personal revelation. It's a collective shift in consciousness that can usher in a new earth, one filled with compassion, understanding and unity. Dive with me into this journey of awakening as we explore the key insights from each chapter of this profound book. Chapter 1, aptly titled The Flowering of Human Consciousness, lays the foundation for our journey. In this opening chapter, Tolle invites us into the sweeping narrative of human evolution, not merely on a physical level, but on the level of consciousness. He speaks of a profound shift, a flowering of consciousness, akin to the blooming of a flower that has the potential to elevate us above the constraints of our own thought patterns. As we move into the second chapter, we're introduced to the concept of the ego. Tola paints the ego not as an inherent part of our identity, but rather as a social construct, a false self born out of our identification with things, be they tangible possessions, our physical bodies, or even our thoughts and emotions. He suggests that our unhappiness stems from this identification with the ego, because it keeps us rooted in the past and anxious about the future, thus preventing us from fully experiencing the present moment. Chapter 3 delves deeper into the core of the ego. Here, Tola explains that the ego thrives on conflict and separation. It constantly compares itself to others, always in a ceaseless pursuit of more. More recognition, more material wealth, more of anything that reinforces its illusory sense of self. But in this constant striving, we lose touch with the joy and peace that can only be found in the present moment. Throughout these initial chapters, Tola emphasizes the importance of present moment awareness. He urges us to disentangle ourselves from the trappings of the ego and to experience life as it is, right here and now. By doing so, we can begin to access a deeper level of consciousness, one that is free from the constraints of time and the incessant need for more. As we peel back the layers of our ego, we begin to glimpse the truth of who we really are. In Chapter 4, Role Playing, the many faces of the ego, we delve deeper into the workings of the ego. This chapter enlightens us about the ego's chameleon-like nature, the ability to assume various roles, and the knack for masking itself behind our identities. The ego, as Tolu explains, is not just the I that we think we are. It is a collection of self-images and roles we've accumulated over time. It's the voice in the head that tells us who we are, often leading us to suffering and discontentment. Chapter 5, The Pain Body, introduces us to a profound concept, the pain body. This is an old emotional pain that lives in us, a kind of psychic parasite feeding off our negative thoughts and emotions. Our past traumas, unprocessed emotions and unresolved issues give birth to and nourish this pain body. It's like a dark shadow that follows us, often unconsciously, leading us to act out in destructive ways. The pain body and the ego are interconnected. The ego feeds off the pain body and in turn the pain body strengthens the ego. This vicious cycle is what keeps us trapped in suffering. However, there's a way out. In Chapter 6, Breaking Free, Tole teaches us how to disentangle ourselves from the grip of the ego and the pain body. The first step is awareness. By becoming conscious of the ego's tricks and the pain body's influence, we initiate the process of disidentification. We no longer see ourselves as these entities, but as the awareness behind them. The second step is acceptance. We must accept our pain, not resist it. Resistance only gives more power to the pain body. Acceptance, on the other hand, lessens its influence. Lastly, we must practice presence. By staying present, not lost in past regrets or future anxieties, we weaken the ego and the pain body. We realize they are not us, and in this realization, we break free. 
Breaking free from the pain body is akin to shedding old skin, revealing our true selves beneath. The journey might be challenging, but it's worth every step. For it is through this journey that we awaken to our true life's purpose. Chapter 7, Finding Who You Truly Are, heralds the beginning of our awakening. We dive into the depths of our being, unearthing the essence that is untouched by life's trials and tribulations. It's a journey towards self-discovery, a quest to find our true selves, beyond the ego and the mind-made self. Chapter 8, The Discovery of Inner Space, guides us further into this exploration. We learn to observe the silence within us, the space that allows the universe to express itself. This inner space, this silence, is not just emptiness, it's filled with an energy, a life force, that connects us all. It's in this space that we find our true power, our true nature. In Chapter 9, Your Inner Purpose, we shift our focus from the outer world to the inner world. Our inner purpose, as Eckhart Tolle explains, is not about what we do, but about how we are. It's about being present, being in the now, fully engaged with life in each moment. This chapter emphasizes that our outer purpose may change over time, but our inner purpose remains the same, to awaken to our true nature. Finally, chapter 10, A New Earth, paints a vision of the world that can emerge when we awaken to our life's purpose. This new earth is not a physical place, but a state of consciousness. It's a world where we live in harmony with nature, where we respect all forms of life, where we understand that we are all interconnected. It's a world where we let go of fear, anger and resentment and embrace love, joy and peace. Each chapter, each page, each word in this book is a guide, a tool to help us awaken to our true selves, to realize that we are not separate, but one with the universe, to understand that our true purpose is not to accumulate wealth or gain power, but to be fully present fully alive in each moment. As we awaken to our true selves, we not only find our life's purpose, but also contribute to the emergence of a new earth. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey through this insightful book. We've traced a path through Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose, from the unveiling of the theme to the exploration of the key chapters. We've delved into the profound concepts Tolle presents, such as the ego's illusory nature, the power of being present, and the transformative potential of suffering. In our journey, we've discovered the importance of spiritual awakening, how it can lead to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. We've seen how Tolle encourages us to let go of our ego and embrace the present moment to find peace and purpose in the here and now. Perhaps this exploration has inspired you to embark on your own journey of awakening, to seek not more but the richness of what is already within you. Remember, the key to a new earth lies not in the pursuit of more, but in the awakening to what is already within us.